Hello, 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 everyone. Thank you for tuning in. I am Jay Lee. This is Jay Lee's Corner. This is my review for The Walking Dead. This is season 8, episode 15. Next week is the season finale. I am so ready for this fucking season to end. Lipstick of today. This is Urban Decay. The color is heroin. Yes, heroin. Um mugs are still available the link is in the description box below the i'm fat shirts is also available you can see the link to the shirts um also in the description box below fat meaning i am fierce amazing and talented get into it um yeah i just wanted to get that out the way <sighs> this season of the walking dead sucked and the only reason it sucked because it's the exact season that it was last season Negan has been around too long and it aggravates all my soul and until Negan is dead the show will continue to suck and Jeffrey Dean Morgan is a great actor something against him the story is tired the story is old you know we already know morgan's leaving to go do fear the walking dead i do not watch fear the walking dead i would not watch fear the walking dead because i'm just too afraid it's gonna be this horrible as w the fucking walking dead you know we see the episode starts off um rick reads carl's letter finally carl been dead for what four five seven eight nine episodes he's just not reading the letter um and the letter basically says that there's more out in the world. I think the light just messed up with anything. If it did, you know, y'all. hopefully y'all can still see me. Hopefully my battery didn't just die. But yeah, um, it just brings up how there's more out in the world and how they can help other people and how the same way they found the first couple of, you know, how they found Alexandria, how they found Hilltop, how they found the savior, not the saviors, the, um, the kingdom. They can find other people to rebuild society to get back to some kind of normal way how there can be something besides fussing and fighting the whole time. He brings up how he remembered um, like walking with his dad when he was younger and going to movies. Just regular random stuff and saying how, you know, take walk with Judith because she can remember that as well. You know, telling him to just basically be better and do better and make the world a better place. That's basically what it was. Um, we then see Simon and Gregory. Gregory is such a little sniveling snake. Um, he's going back to Simon saying how he kind of just wants to be back in. You know, Simon lets him know that Negan is no more, that he's the new Negan and he's in charge now. And he's telling Gregory that, you know, he basically has to leave or he has to be gone because the intel he gave him before was bullshit. And, you know, Gregory was like, you can't do this to me. I made your asses. Not in, that's not what he said in real life, but you know, that's what I'm thinking he said. Um, he just basically said, like, you know, you're gonna need someone to help you, excuse me, I'm so sorry, politic and, you know, work with other communities to, you know, kind of just do things. You don't know that yet. You, you just like kill, 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 murder, murder, murder. And he was kind of like yelling at Simon. Simon then did some weird, I thought he body slammed him. I don't know what it was, but at that point, Gregory's mom was bleeding. And he asked Gregory if he knows how to make coffee. I'm like, okay, now you're going to have coffee. So it is what it is. Um, <sighs> that part confused me. It, it really, really did. You know, we see Aaron. Aaron ass is still in the woods, waiting on Oceanside to make a choice. And I mean, okay. You know, we see him, like, some walkers is walking. He kills a walker. The Oceanside girls see him and they say, well, he chose to be here. If he's going to die, let him die. He better get some water because he looks tired and overworked or whatever. Because who knows? I mean, they say how these days aren't, like, long days. He looked like he'd been out there for, like, a year. But I'm like, it can't be a year because Maggie's still pregnant and they ain't had no baby. So it only can be, like, a day or two. Why he look like that? I'm just, I'm confused. Um... 
they do say like he need you know you, you better find some water we then see him wake up and it's raining it's pouring pouring rain well now you got some water so he drinks out of a pot he got is the pot clean i'm not sure but he drinks out of it anyway but he then realizes his walker's coming he had a little knife he killing one walk kill one walker to kill two walkers or whatever i'm like but why he just out here in this rain water why are the walkers coming to him as if i mean he wasn't making no noise so i was confused like why all the walkers is walking towards him as if he's making a whole bunch of noise and he's not Anywho, he's having to kill these walkers in the rain. He then loses his knife. He then uses a stick and he kills some more walkers. Okay, cool. He then passes out because he's so tired from fighting off the walkers. It could because he hasn't he hasn't eaten either. Who knows? But he then wakes up again, and this time the oceanside women are surrounding him. Like, is he dead? No, he's alive. And he just says to them, you know, they took a lot from you, meaning this and the Savior. We know the Savior is killed or took all of their men. And he's like, you know, y'all have been basically hiding from them and just not really living. Y'all are just hiding. And eventually they're going to probably come for y'all saying that, you know, you need to fight. And I think he honestly passed out a third time. He needed to go home or something. I'm pretty sure they're going to join them now. But, you know, it is what it is. Um, Eugene, Eugene trying to be a hard ass now. Eugene, you not tough, bro. You really not. And, you know, it's funny to see him act tough. And, you know, he realized, I didn't realize the first, that the person he was talking to was great Gabriel. He has Gabriel making bullets. You know, Gabriel's blind and he's sick. And they just have him in a mask. But he's coughing in his mask. Leave your mask on because whatever you got, we don't want to catch it. Well, I mean... He gonna probably, we ain't there. Yes, I guess it's one thing. He like, you know, you made this bullet and the bullet would, you know, explode when whoever shot it. And he's like, well, I wasn't trying to make the bullet explode. I just wanted the bullet to not work. He like, you know, I don't want to help y'all, but I also don't want y'all to kill me because I'm scared to die. And, you know, that's a logical fear to not want to help someone. But know that if you don't help them, they're going to kill you and you don't want to die. So, it's like, you know, what do you do? You try to do your best and just make it not work. But that didn't work either. So, um, we then see Eugene going outside the, outside the test some of the bullets. And Rosita and Daryl snatch his ass up. And they take him and they walk on away. And, you know, of course, they hate Eugene. Hell, we hate Eugene. Everybody hates Eugene. Because Eugene is a traitor of all traitors. Eugene will be on whoever's side that fits him the most to protect him. Because he's a whip, basically. And, you know... I would have tried to get some bullets, though. I would have tried to get him, get in there, kill all the saviors, and get their bullets. Because y'all don't have bullets either. But they just take him away to have him be their bullet maker. And, you know, we see Eugene try to, like, get on their good side and say, you know, Rosita, you know, when I told Negan that I can make him bullets, I thought I was saving your life. I thought he would kill me, but he didn't kill me. Then I thought I would come here and they would torch me and they didn't. They just let me live. And so I just did what I had to do to survive. You know, like I tried to resist it. No, you didn't. You never did. But, you know, whatever. Um, And she's like, you know, Daryl ain't for that shit. He likes to shut the fuck up. <laughs> Rosita likes to shut the fuck up. Neither one of them cares about what he's saying. He's he's trying to save his own ass and it isn't working. Rosita does, does say to him, like, you know what? You are the worst person because you are a full-fledged traitor. And, you know, you're the reason so many people are dead. You you are a traitor. We can't deal with you. You are basically, um, like, worthless. Like, you're a useless person. But we're going to use you. We're going to use your brain any way that we see fit. And you just going to have to deal with it. Of course, not my battery is low. Um, so, it is what it is. Uh, then, you know... They get to the car and it's surrounded by walkers. So Daryl is like, you know what I'm saying, taking out walkers one by one. Lord Jesus. He tells Rosita to watch Eugene. Eugene notice some walkers coming up from behind him. He don't say shit. He takes his two fingers, sticks it down his throat. He vomits, projectile vomits all on Rosita to distract her. And then he runs away. For you to want to puke on me. I should kill you dead. And sure enough, when we need to ch chase him, she like, he's when we catch him, just shoot him in the head. It's, let's just kill him dead. But they run in to chase him. He's already went in like he had under some dirt and some gravel, or whatever, like under some dirt, gravel, and like stuff. So they run right past him, not knowing he did not keep running. He hid knowing that he couldn't outrun them. I mean, he's kind of smart for that point, you know, so it is what it is. And, you know, we see that whole thing. 
Um, the saviors. You know, Dwight sees Negan is alive. Um, Negan playing head games this whole time. You know, he's playing head games, telling uh, Dwight how he's happy. He never like traded teams, and how he, you know, all no matter you know the whole thing he did with his wife, the whole thing burned his face. How Dwight has never try to turn on them i said to myself the person that he found on that road was that lady i think her name was lauren that's who he ran into she's already told him everything and he's playing all of them and i i could see it like it wasn't even like a i could see the shit okay um but dwight said hey i'm still negan it is what it is you know we then see negan and simon talking and Simon like you know we thought you were dead but you know what happened happened you know what i'm saying i was very emotional because i thought you were dead so that's why i switched from us hurting the hilltop to just kind of killing them all you know what i'm saying i need you to give me a pass on the situation and he like hmm you know, when I first met you all the years ago when we took this place together, you know, you killed all those people then. And I thought, wow, that's like a crazy psychopath. Who wants to work with that kind of person? He said, but, you know, I kind of just said I'm going to let it do what it do. So we then find out that means Simon, Simon has been a murderer his whole life. He's always been, he he's a killer. He wants to kill a lot. Of, he's a serial killer. That's what he is. He wants to, or, no, he's a mass murderer. He's a mass murderer. He kills a mass amount of people at once. He, he's, he's done it three times. The first time the people we know about back in the day, he did it with the garbage people. And he did it with, he tried to do it or did it enough with Hilltop. And, you know, um, he tells Simon to get on your knees. I'm like, okay, cool. He going to bash his head in with the bat. But he doesn't. He says, you know what I'm saying, all is forgiven. I'm like, the fuck? What? I just, it was just so dumb. You know, he then gives like this whole elaborate plan. You know, Dwight is there, Simon's there, and all the, the heads of the people is all there. I then said to myself, he's giving out a fake plan, knowing that Dwight is a sellout. He's going to give this plan to Rick and them. I'm like, that is what he's doing. If you can't see that, you're fucking stupid. And I was like, this is such a stupid ass season. Um, so he's like, you know, we're going to have them people at this little lookout point. We're going to keep them all, um, on the inside. And anytime anyone comes out, we're going to just basically snipe them and shoot them and die and kill them. And so he like, but he sent it because I'm not, he sent it so that Dwight would take the plan to Rick and them. Um, he then excuses everyone else and again he talks to Dwight in private. He then says how um basically just keep being loyal. I don't you know, I really didn't care at all. You know, we then see Simon and Daryl Daryl, Dwight talking. And, you know, Simon like, we need to strike now. Like we need to just take his ass out, kill him dead, and let it be what it's gonna be because ain't nobody happy to see he's back. Simon is crazy. Okay, Simon is bad shit crazy. And he gonna end up getting killed. We know that already. Um, but Dwight like, alright, you know, if that's what you wanna do, fine. I said to myself, Dwight is probably gonna tell Negan. Cause he thinks, let me say on Negan's good side so that we can get him down. I can get to Rick and him and it's easier to take Negan out with Rick and him's help than have to deal with Simon who wants to kill everybody. So they then have like a full fledged let's kill Negan meeting in the front of the yard. I'm looking like y'all having a meeting in open space. Like y'all, it wasn't even a secret meeting. Like you weren't even a se in a secret location. I'm like, what are you doing? Um, and as he's talking about killing everybody, you know, you know killing Negan and then going to Hilltop to kill everyone, you hear the, you then hear uh, Negan whistling. I can't whistle, so I don't know how it was. And he walks up. So of course, Dwight told Negan the whole thing. So. <sighs> people kill everybody except Simon, Dwight, and Gregory. Because, like, shoot, like, snipers. Choo, 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 take everybody else out who was in on the plan except those three. Then he says, you know what I'm saying? Um, if you can beat me, you can be the man, Simon. If you can beat me, you can be the man. You can have it all. I'm like, nah, Simon and Negan gonna fight. Okay, I'm... They have a little fight. Now, as they fist fighting up in the dang on yard or whatever, um, Dwight and Gregory sneak off. I'm like, cool. They both going to leave and go to Hilltop and let them know what's going on. No. Dwight sends Gregory. Take this to Maggie and Rick. Let them know what's going on. I'm going to stay here. And he does stay there. 
we do see Negan basically beats up Simon and then strangles him to death. So, rest in peace, Simon, but not really because you killed too many people. So now Simon's ass is dead, and Negan literally strangled him to death. It takes a lot of might to strangle someone. I heard that on the TV one time. So, um, yeah. So now, you know, Negan, like, okay, Dwight, you're my number two. Simon is dead, you know what I'm saying? Because you've been so loyal, whatever. You know, you're a great person. But he's really not number two because as he walks into his room the chick laurel is sitting there i told nigga and everything that you were a traitor that you killed all our own people blah blah blah, blah. so again like i said nigga knew the whole fucking time i it wasn't it wasn't a guess he also admits i gave you the fake plan figuring that you would take it to take it to rick but i think you gave the plan to gregory so you both are in on it so okay but either way go i gave you a whole fake plan on purpose wouldn't surprise you know as at all um but he says he's not going to kill Dwight because he has plans for him and I said he gonna probably put him on the fence on the front as like a walker like no he wouldn't do that because he won't kill him I don't know what he's gonna do but I thought he was going to kill him and make him a walker so that if Rick and them walked up they would see dead Dwight as a walker and I was like but you know that wasn't what they did so we do see back at the bullet making factory as I like to call it Eugene is back or whatever he looks all dusty and dirty and the lady tell him that you know Negan the real Negan is back he wants bullets tomorrow we have to get his order out tomorrow and he like alright we gonna do it because you know what I'm saying we gonna be useful with our we gonna be useful with our pathetic lives and he's I'm like is he saying that because he know what Rosita said was true and that he's to blame for a lot of things. Is this his way of tr trying to still move forward but do the right thing? I don't know. Is Eugene going to try to uh, make something change? Is he going to like make fake bullets? Like what is he going to do? I feel like it's going to be something. I just don't know what. Um. So yeah. The ending that we see is that Simon is a dead walker on the fence. I said hmm. Because he still looks like himself. He's not beaten up or whatever. He's just dead. And he's chained to the fence. And I think he was like the only walker chained to the fence too. Um, and, you know, we then see Michonne uh, walkie-talkies Negan. And says, you know, I don't like you. You an asshole. But, however, Carl wrote you, wrote you a, a letter. And I'm just going to read it for him because he, want you to, he wanted me to read it to you. And, basically, the letter does say, like, you know, he doesn't want to fight anymore. I hope my dad offers you peace. And you guys can take it and just start all over. Is what it basically said. Um, it was a nice letter. I'm not reading the whole goddamn letter. It was a really nice letter. Just saying, this. it was the same thing he had been saying to all of them. We can't keep doing this. You know, my dad can possibly kill you. You can possibly kill my dad. It can be this murder, 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 death, 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 over and over. But if we just stop it, if you just kind of make peace with each other, you know, things can move forward. And he says, you know what I'm saying? I wouldn't accept peace, you know, from y'all. I just wouldn't accept, you know, he's like, fuck that shit, basically. Uh, he said, you know, winning isn't even about beating you anymore. You know, it's about killing all of y'all. And he's like, you know, that's how I start over. You know, Rick did this. Rick made this all happen. No more talking. Y'all have to die. And he, like, breaks the walkie-talkie. So, I guess Negan is in a killing mood. Rick is in a killing mood. You know, Simon is dead. Uh, <laughs> uh, Gregory is locked up in the, look, in the, in the chicken coop back at, at uh, Hilltop. Maggie and them do have the plans, but I'm looking like the plans are, f are fake. And I, you know what I hope? I hope that because Gregory brought the plans that Maggie will say, we can't trust him. This is the trick. That's what I hope happens. I don't know what's going to happen. I'm happy that it is the season finale. This needs to be the final. Negan needs to die. Negan, if Negan survives to season nine, I really believe the fans who have been watching and hoping the season gets better, they're going to just stop watching. Because at this point, why are we still watching? I, there's no, the show, there are no good points. There's nothing to look for. You didn't kill Caro. You know, everyone's dying. Um, there just nothing, nothing's, nothing's good. Morgan's, I mean, it's just, it's just stupid. It just makes me freaking pissed off. Anywho, that's my review. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I only watched this show to freaking review it because the review was better than watching the show. So, I am Jay Lee. This is Jay Lee's Corner. Peace. <laughs>